Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams are noted for their past offenses, and rightfully so. They're among the best in the country, and they put up huge numbers. But if you watch these clubs carefully, you'll see that they pass the lead and run to win. Maybe a little bit more balanced than people realize, and sometimes you can't get caught up always looking for the pass, because that's exactly when you'll get burned by the run. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. West has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Maryland's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out, and they can really be versatile offensively. But when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the cost. It does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups. And when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. The Terrapins always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Nice run, and he's brought down. I really thought that the ball was going to stay in the quarterback's hands, but he made a really smart decision to pitch it out, and now they've got another set of downs to work with. goes down quickly. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's got an opening. Knocked out of bounds around the seven-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Out of bounds at the three-yard line. Gandy's the guy everyone has their eyes on right now, Kirk, and he comes with a lot of expectations. Time will only tell if he's the new hope or if he's all hype. a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. He 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Hawkeyes were ranked 23rd. The victory was solid. We'll see how much it impresses the voters. And for North Texas, they've lost two in a row. The Hawkeyes win it by 20. In other action, let's take a look at scores around the country. Check out these two teams keeping it close. The Golden Hurricane lead, 3-0. All right, Reese, back to our game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. to his receiver, and they push him out around the 31-yard line. Tackle right around the 40. Here's the halfback. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want enough. They don't want enough. That'll make it second and seven. Check four. Check four. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That'll make it second and seven. He's out of bounds at about the 41. From the 41 yard line. It's third down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's taken down at the 23. First down. Good tackle in space. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. Guns it in there. Touchdown. be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. So a nine play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that piece. We're even at seven in this one. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 24. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. And they hit him in the backfield. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Watch out here. And he shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Nice run there. That brings him second 
Throws it out and it falls incomplete. From their own 47 yard line. Third down. Here we go. Caught and he's hit immediately. That'll be a pickup of a yard. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Roach is back to receive. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. taken down at the 48 so he keeps it and he gets a big first down the quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch he saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game nice run to the outside that's a gain of six on the play that'll bring up second and three They'll give it off here. They'll bring him down at around the 48-yard line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's to the 40. Brought down around the 41-yard line. the stop at the 47. He makes his way to about the 38. That brings up second and one. To him before he could get back to the line. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and two. And here's another third down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, check, check back the ladder, check back the ladder. Drop deep, drop deep. They'll drop 
open for a loss. I think the offense has to stick with who they are, and they know their identity. This time they came up a little bit short, but I think based on what they're seeing from this defense, they've got to be able to make a decision on whether or not they want to run the football or throw. That time the run did not work at all because they got beat up front at the line of scrimmage. Makes it out to about the 30. the 17. Fires out quickly to the tailback. That makes it first and 10. <laughs> Rifles at right. Picked off by the senior. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that back? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. from their own 20-yard line. First down. Across midfield. To the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Mountaineers. Makes the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Sooners take the field in this game, ranked number six. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Golden Hurricanes' rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. The Sooners lead it by two, middle of the second quarter. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14 7. West, ready to kick. Robinson deep to return. Robinson fields at the goal line. The Terrapins have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. You can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line, and get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 17. gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And that'll be three and out. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Room around the corner. Tackle at the 38. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. And I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Pickup of about seven that time on the screen play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. West Virginia up seven points. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds at the eight. That's a game 23 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Hoping to go up two touchdowns here. Down, down. 
They run it left. He tackles him for a loss. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He makes it to the six-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. And he's hit immediately. They get a yard on the play. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. West Virginia can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. complete he's got room to work the Terrapins taking their first time out of the half so on first down they go to the air and pick up huge yardage well that was just a well executed play they picked the perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play and it worked first down 10 to go ball on the 45 there's a strike complete and they get him in the backfield for a loss That'll be a loss of one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Let's go. Lighting. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. With a quick throw. Tackle made right around the 12-yard line. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you can see it in the way he threw that pass. Well, last time down here, they threw an interception. They'd like to erase that memory. And that sets them up with a first and goal. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Kicks up, and he's got it. A great first half comes to a close. West Virginia's lead is a touchdown. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. 
Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nestler in Kirk Herb Street. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. From his own goal line. And he's taken down at the 27. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. West Virginia is up seven. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Throws and it's incomplete. That one sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 37. Let's go. Run, run, run. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. two-yard line. Lewis awaiting the return. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They get four yards on the halfback option. That makes it second and six. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. Third down and seven. Ball on their own 26. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. Nice run there. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. That brings us fourth and three. Johnson is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at the 42. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. West Virginia is up by a touchdown. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second in inches. Check right. Hey, check right 46. Check right 46. All day, just like that. Just like that. Yes, yes, yes. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 47-yard line, third down. Here's 
a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. And now they should come away with pretty good field position. So consider that a big stop. West to punt. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down at the 28. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it 67. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. From their own 27-yard line, third down. Ready, green 90, green 90. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. So that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Roach, back to return it. He's at midfield. He makes it to the 42-yard line. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. West Virginia is up a score. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. He's at the 30, in and out of his hands. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. to throw outside and they couldn't hook up on that one so at the end of three West Virginia leads it 17 10 all right we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter Throws incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Brought down around the 16-yard line. Wow. That looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. West Virginia up seven points. Here we go. Right at Rose complete and he stopped immediately. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Rose, and that one's 
going to hit the ground incomplete. The kick is up, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Lewis from the two. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Maryland's been doing special things on offense all season long, and not today. That's not what we've been expecting. This has been a shocker. These guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long. You come in expecting the same thing, and they lay an egg. Boy, I didn't expect to see this at all. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Gives it right side. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That makes it second and eight. goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. This one's going deep to the end zone. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. From the 40-yard line, second down. Flips it, middle to the running back. Brought down to the open field. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll make it 31. Just under three to go in regulation. He did not get to the first down marker. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And this is what power football is all about, folks. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. He fights forward to about the 23. No game. That makes it third and three. Reset, cut right. 35 to Mike. Crunch the eyes. Check, check. Check, check. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. Here's a quick throw. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Hill comes away with two yards on the carry. 
Maryland will take their first time out of the half from their own 25 yard line. Second down. Just over a minute left. Nice run to the outside. Hill comes away with five yards on the carry. The Terrapins call a timeout. That's their second of the half. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at about the 45. Well, I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them. They have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 43. He makes his way to about the 38. That makes it first and 10. Finish up the broadcast. What do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? I thought this would have been a little closer than the scoreboard indicates. Maybe that says something about how good a game they play. West Virginia could have just as easily found themselves on the other end of this score. That's how even these two teams were coming in. But they played the better game today and should be very happy about the win. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.